Hello my friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Today we are going to find out what's happening with you this week. Um, so let's, well, I have some tarot cards, some divination dice, uh, some oracle cards, um, as well as sprinkle of charms. So let's actually close our eyes and inhale. Now as we open our eyes and exhale, choose a pile that calls to you and that's the one you're going to choose. Alright, let's do this. Hello group one, let's find out what's happening with you this week. Alright, so first we're gonna we're gonna leave the oracle cards for just a bit. Um but we're gonna so we're gonna put them over here. But we're gonna find out what the energy of the week is. And it is cornucopia. So cornucopia is um well kinda tells you that it's abundance. Um but I actually always like to read these guys because they usually have a good um, mantra that I like. An abundant harvest and great blessings are awaiting you, and you may even find all your wishes fulfilled. The cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in forms of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant values. Um, a value is being presented for you, prepared for you now, and spirit is applauding all of your effort. So, here is the good thing. It's called the affirmation: is the universe is abundant. All that I desire comes to me in just the right time and way. I am blessed. So, we're gonna have. I usually like to put that down below. So we have an affirmation of the week. Okay, now let's get into um, the different energies of the week. Okay, we already have plenty of it. Okay, here we go. So on Monday, we have the Page of Cups. On Tuesday, we have Three of Pentacles. On Wednesday, we have the Moon. Um, so yeah, so the Page of Cups is representing like a spirit of it's like a learning is a young energy it's it's learning but it's learning like things and and kind of having that kid like idealism right it's a very idealistic uh feeling so you're gonna maybe feel kid like or right, idealistic on monday you're gonna feel like oh you're gonna want to like I think try new things is, is what I'm hearing, like try new things that you think will be interesting and maybe like fulfilling. Um, so we have oh, lots of cup and a lot of cup energy. So on Thursday we have the Knight of Cups. Um, so on Tuesday we also have, oh, sorry, so we, we have the Three of Pentacles. So that means that you're going to be working on um, something with somebody. It's going to be like, it's a cooperative effort. Friday we have the sun, Ooh. Saturday we have the page of pentacles, and, oh, okay, that's what you're telling me, alright, here we go, and Sunday is temperance, alright, right, so yes, like I said, I actually wanted to say that there's like a lot of like young energy here, because you also have the page of pentacles, um, so that's really cool. All right, so you're. I feel like you're. You're feeling like um, either <laughs> you're quite younger in the beginning, or you're feeling very like refreshed in a sense, and like that you are trying new things, um, learning new things, definitely. Um, but it's like you. You kind of have um, a new idealism for for like new ideas, and and you're kind of in the beginning process of it, but you're really excited. I I feel like there's excitement here. Um, so that's the, so I love that you start off the week with that. And then you do, Tuesday you do have like energy of working with others, cooperating. Again, it seems to me like, you know, I feel like, oh, I just felt like there's like some sort of like maybe doing an internship or like studying under somebody. Like somehow like somebody's going to help you here on Tuesday. On Wednesday we have the moon. So you're feeling like, uh, feel conflicted but it's also just like you're not really sure it might be that you have so many like ideas that you want to like do and you're just not sure uh how to go about it or um 
could be also an emotional. Oh, when we're not sure, what do we do? We clarify. Okay, the fool. Yeah, you're just, you're kind of, yeah, I definitely think that you're beginning something. You're in the process of beginning uh, a journey. And you're not really sure where you're going. Um, so you feel a bit like, oh, and you're not even sure which path to take, I would say. But you're kind of just going along with it. So that's the Wednesday energy. Wednesday, you're like, oh, am I, am I going the right direction? Am I, is it like, is everything like, you just feel kind of hazy about things on thursday I, I love that this is the knight of cups the knight of cups is like um he has this energy it's like the ro romantic hero if you will um i just noticed he has fish on his armor I just, that is amazing that's so cool um so uh so again it could it's that there is like well, there's two things. It could also be a message of love or a message of affection, but it also, to me, it seems like oh, maybe if somebody might enter your life that, that has strong feelings for you or that that's, wants to, I feel like, refill your cup, like, wants to, sh to like, give you some sort of, like, affection, love, or, like, even just, um, pos like, uh, compliments, I would say. Some, somebody like that is going to be on Thursday. Um... So we have Friday, we have the sun, you feel very fulfilled, you feel like, <coughs> you feel that cornucopia is what I want to say, that is definitely a cornucopia here, you're completely fulfilled, very happy, um, like yes, you feel like everything is turning out right, uh, here I notice the wall, so the wall it feels like you're breaking down walls and barriers for yourself, and now you're, and you're planting um, beautiful flowers instead, there's like a lot of like, happiness here so i feel like on fridays when you're going to really feel that cornucopia might start off on on thursday because there's like definitely like i feel like there's compliments like some something that's going to really uplift you somebody's going to give you a little compliment or, or like affection that's going to really uplift you and then so here's like i love this is like i think the cornucopia feeling right here on saturday we have again we're feeling young like and <clears throat> I want to say like a little like um you want to this one I kind of goes with this card like you're you're starting to really focus on work that you're doing you really want to do it while you're starting to learn from it again the internship might be important um if not internship like maybe books learning like here you're trying to establish yourself so I think there's a balance here of like you're trying to find something that you love um to do uh, and it really makes you emotionally fulfilled. And it's also like financially abundant that you're trying to find. You're trying to get that ground um, with something new. It feels like, yeah, it's like a, a new endeavor um, that you're considering and thinking about. Temperance. So there is this balance. There is this balance. Again, I see like a lot of cup energy, a lot of water energy. Um, so again, there's a balance that you're trying to achieve. But also, like, with the cups being moved around, I feel like there's a lot of, like, love being given and received. It's like there's, um, there is that kind of, like, balance for both. It's, I, it's actually quite interesting to me. Um, let's see, find balance in, in what sense? Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so it also seems like, uh, well, I have to say it was reversed. I was usually don't like to use reverse cards, not everything against I just don't use put them in there, but when they are, I just listen to them. So it's trying to find a balance between like planning too far in advance and not enjoying the the moment right here. So on, on Sunday you're kind of planning like and you are like <clears throat> because there is a lot of like future focus because you are still in the beginning stages but also like it really wants to say like don't you don't have to plan so far in advance you can which is something is interesting kind of enjoy the present kind of enjoy what's happening here now um because there's a lot of like celebration at hand there's a cornucopia here so like enjoy the the fruit like you know like the harvest that you've the fruits that you've actually that have actually sprouted um and so enjoy that it's really like important um yeah okay so let's look at the oracle cards okay so for the romance in general the romance is children okay so children your love life is being affected by children could mean that you um have kids it means that 
that you take care of kids. Um, kids are important. I also want to feel like something maybe from your past, like when you were kids, um, maybe that's somebody that's striding in to, to, to share affection. Um, oh, sorry. I'm going to show the other ones and then we're going to clarify this one a little bit. Uh, so flexibility, I mean flexible. So yeah, you needing to be flexible. I think this, this is a time uh, when you're in the beginning stages, there is a like wanting to be flexible don't get stuck I think that is a strong message this week don't get stuck on on like <clears throat> not ne necessarily like planning the future but it's also like the plans you have already laid down don't get stuck too much allow some flexibility find some balance with what you've already done and um and you know like also like let things kind of unfold in as they will um okay I'm just I just noticed I've been carrying this little rock. <laughs> uh, let's let's actually clarify the children. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like hold on. <laughs> they just wanted to kind of all go out of my hand and we just need one card to clarify the children. So clarify children. What does the children here in the above in the love energy have to do? Hmm. It's a king of swords maybe i feel like um you have maybe there's been a time where you're just too like focused i feel like very you are very focused um on like making things happen like you know and i feel like sometimes the children is exactly what you need to have you may be like um Think about how kids are and how they are like having this energy of fun um, and how like they find like look they, they enjoy all the little things. I think that's important here. Could also like I think that might be important too in like maybe your relationship if you are in a relationship it's gotten kind of I want to say like too serious a little maybe stale in terms of like routine maybe like add a little fun add a little play in there um like kind of like have fun kid stuff <laughs> um yeah i want to say that and if you're not with somebody you somebody with kids might enter your life um an older person an older yeah an older person it might come in that has already kids okay that is okay so we have those two and we're also going to um i want to leave the uh, the the self-care for a little bit later i'm gonna try it like uh, we'll end with those guys um but let's do the charms and the divination dice okay so divination dice we have art we have Libra, so concentrate on art. Maybe that's what you have here with this with this guy. Um, yeah, because that is an artistic kind of energy. Um, we have March, which again kind of makes sense with this guy because with this card because Mar Pisces. There's a Pisces energy here. Yeah, so that's good. Leo, we have M. Actually, let's put all these guys together. M. G, V, D. <laughs> so that's cool. Fall. The fall is like maybe you're like me and you're already starting to plan for the fall. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, the fall's coming. And I mean, and it will come. Well, I'm not sure if it's kind of seems like it's a little bit um, blurry. Okay, so we have the broken heart. So there is still like you're still overcoming some past hurt maybe some hurt emotions um okay come on stop being blurry uh we also have september again for the fall is important maybe you are actually prepping like i am so we then we have nature which is good spend time in nature the first letter of your name and then four four is important yeah it could it has with this energy of like the emperor energy the one who's logical action based um so i think you sometimes it's also good to just balance out the the 
energy of like being too serious. It's always good to also have that. Okay, so let's do a sprinkle of charms. Okay, live your dream, which I think you are. You're beginning in the stages of it, and it's really cool. Again, the turtle lets us know that even like you don't have to rush to get it all done. A lot of transformation energy, lots of transformation with the butterfly. Also it could be that there is like, yeah, okay, I was gonna say, made for an angel. Like you, you're being looked after, looked over, uh, watched over by an angel, um, an angel energies. Uh, here we have the bicycle, which has a lot to do with temperance. Again, there's a balance. I think there's a, a really strong balance of like, focusing too much on the future planning and also like, being too serious in a sense um or like you know like not allowing things to kind of be fun for you here the fact that we have a four leaf clover very good luck you're very lucky and i could tell that because there is the cornucopia we have the witch's hat which is really awesome which means that there you are you have a lot of like manifestation um power and you can see that because of the cornucopia but it also means like there's like there's some magic in you, <laughs> I want to say. There's magic in you. Uh, strong is beautiful. Again, you are very strong. Um, very, all those things are indeed true. Like, the strong is beautiful. But I feel like even, but being strong doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to be, like, so, um, I want to say, like, so focused. <laughs> like, focus is good. But also allowing yourself to have fun, that's also good. Being flexible is, is also a strength. If you actually see the, the trees that um, are able to sway with the wind are able to survive longer than the ones that are brittle. And, um, you know, so, so there's flexibility is important in this week. Um, being flexible with your plans is really what I say, like, things are going to move around a little bit, but it's, all working out for your benefit uh, all right so let's look at the self-care for this week it is to journal so we have journal full self-care um, and we also have we did two this week I thought would be kind of cool and positive affirmations okay so there is so take time to to do self-care <laughs> and self-care is what, what's kind of focused this week yeah so self-care tend to your garden so again like could be actual tend to your garden the nature and and um but also like take care of yourself because i think you are like you're really excited about all these projects or prospects that are happening and you are starting to learn and, and like be really but um yeah just like take care of yourself with some journaling write down like do ideas all the ideas that you have just write them down i've been doing that because i have trouble with like um to do lists um kind of forget everything <laughs> once I've like written down so I kind of have a paper that I just write everything like that I really want to do and I've just been kind of going at it and checking at it and just keeping it with me all the time and aff positive affirmations oh and it's really good because we do have a positive affirmation for you this week um so yeah I think that is it for you group one you have a wonderful week up ahead <laughs> totally excited for you um, if you like this reading and you found it helpful, please um, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps my channel grow and that I truly appreciate that. I am sending you lots of love, lots of happiness, lots of joy, lots of fun. Yes, lots of fun for you, necessary. Um, and just have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. Let's find out what's happening with you this week. Let's put this guy over here. Um, so first we're going to find out what kind of energy is um, like the overall energy for the week and that is the angel of strength okay so there's definitely going to be like you need to be strong but let's find out what kind of what that really means and the affirmation which is what I actually really like having um, now this amazing this amazing angel brings the news that this time uh, this is a time of increasing power for you. It is not the time to be passive or submissive, but speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny, for the power that comes from within you reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resource resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and you are, and you are on your own. 
on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. Affirmation. Deep within me is an abiding strength that knows no bounds. I have all the power I need to achieve all that I want. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is very exciting. All right, let's do the tarot cards. Okay, so what? let's find out what kind of energy and what's... Okay, here we go. We have, oh, ten of swords in the beginning of a, so that's a Monday. Ace of cups on Tuesday, which is interesting. Four of cups on Wednesday. Oh, we have the star on Thursday and justice on Friday. Oof, it's getting more and more interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Saturday. Hmm. Saturday is the three of, oh no, the two of wands. Okay. Choices, decisions. And on Sunday we have the eight of cups. Okay, so let's start it off. Let's go right ahead. Um, so the ten of swords. Ten of swords is, here we have on Monday, there's, well, like there's a completion cycle here with the 10, but it's a 10 that just like, I feel like on Monday, you're just gonna feel like, uh, well, you're gonna be grateful something is over, but you're gonna be feeling very tired, very, um, I really, yeah, I wanna say like, in a sense, defeated. <laughs> like, oh, that's how you start off. But but it's like, it's, it's a very fleeting moment. It's just like, it feels like you've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of, um, there's been a lot of struggle in the past, um, in the recent past. And, you, you know, you're kind of like feeling weighed down by that. But the reason why I'm, this is not really like very worrying because the next day you're going to have like, you're going to be refreshed. <laughs> so it's literally like you're going to have the scent of cycle and maybe you're going to feel a little bit. So like since maybe you're going to feel a little drained on Monday. So do take care of yourself then. That's really something I want to say. Take care of yourself on Monday if you're feeling drained. Um, make sure you give yourself time off. Like it feels like you've been um doing a lot and and have been facing a lot of challenges so give yourself a little break on monday um and tuesday we have the ace of cups again like something new something like i feel like like it's a, a really refreshing a new beginning it's really a, it's at hand and it's the one that's really fulfilling there's a lot of uh, new beginnings lately like there's uh, i've been like a lot of has been showing up in the readings that there's like new beginnings really uplifting beginnings um very see how the hand comes from like uh the clouds it's like a kind of like a divine feeling it's just exactly what you need when you're feeling this like drained and stuff somebody's gonna uplift you or something's gonna like really give you it's gonna refresh you it's gonna make you feel like all over like super excited on tuesday though we have this energy of Oh, sorry, Wednesday. On Wednesday, we have this energy of kind of like um, being focused, kind of in a, I want to say stubborn, but it's also like kind of like an apathetic kind of thing. Because here we have this same cup is being offered again, but this time this is not watching it. Like you're not picking up on it because you're just kind of like, uh, I'm kind of feeling a bit apathetic about things. So now that we know that, like be on the lookout on Wednesday. Be on the lookout for like um, anything that kind of like, is kind of happy um it's okay that sometimes we have this uh, apathy but there is like beautiful things awaiting us um if we just look up maybe that's the strength that you have there um using your strength here again love 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 this because it's on thursday we <laughs> have the star and the star is actually really important here because it actually is like again this is a hope this is the beginning of hope and you see how there's a lot of water like the whole like last reading too had a lot of water there's a lot of water here and it's like again i feel like you've been thirsty and, and parched in a sense like so much effort that you've been doing and now you're being refreshed you're something like there's some sort of like new um let's say emotions new like inspiration of some kind um feel a well-being that's just going to be kind of flowing into your life so there's a lot of hope on thursday on Friday, we have justice. Justice is like, um, could be that there's something to do with like, uh, uh, actual, like, maybe 
contracts or something like that but it's also to me it's like a balance it's a it's a finding the right balance to do things also like um being fair with yourself is really what I want to say. Like, being fair with yourself. I think um, here it's like I feel like you judge yourself kind of harshly because you do have, like, these moments, but that's totally okay. It's okay that we have, like, sometimes we don't feel 100%. Sometimes we just kind of want to feel a little bit, you know, like, closed off a little bit for a little while. And that's okay. You're judging yourself too harshly and also want to say judging others too harshly as well. Um, so find a, there's a balance, there's a justice, but like, yeah, I just want to say like, comes from a, a place of like, um, like love, like always know that people are always doing the best they can. Maybe it's not a, it's like, maybe that's not a, um, what you, exactly what you would have them do, but they are doing their best they can. Uh, I want to say that. Um, okay, so then we have on Saturday we have this like a choice. You're kind of making a choice. You're mo you're moving towards um, moving towards the world, moving away from like what you had before the stability before. You're kind of going on a new adventure. I feel like that's because you have been more fulfilled. You're you're there's a hope here that you're kind of seeing the potential of what what is to come, and you're very excited about it. Um, Again, though, here we ha and we do have the Eight of Cups, which is how we end the, the week on Sunday. We have, like, or you're starting to walk away from something. There is sadness here because um, here it was very established, something that you're very established, something that you're already, like, could have been, like, ideas from the past. It could just be actual, like, you're moving away physically, like, going somewhere else. Um, it could just be, like, I feel like there is a lot of ideas. Like, it's how you saw your life before. Um, but it wasn't really making you happy. And now you're turning your way on that way. Even though it's established, you want to start something new, fresh. And you're excited about it. But the idea of walking away from it is still kind of sad. Saddening to you. Um, it's, yeah, so that's like it's overall a really good week. But I do want to say, let's see what you're walking away from. Clarify the eight of cups. Okay. The hangman. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. She was in reverse. <laughs> I don't know why it was reversed, but yes, the hangman in reverse. So I think, um, I think you're, you, you stopped being, uh, here's this one. I think that you, you were kind of in a sense, um, at sort of in a standstill. You weren't sure what to do and it gave you a new perspective and now you're actually moving away from being stuck you're kind of you're going to move forward towards it hmm. all right let's see what the oracle cards say these guys really are work. okay so here is the love um deception so that's the energy of the week deception um and we have higher power okay so <clears throat> Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So if you're with somebody, maybe you are walking away from that relationship. Um, just because there is a sadness there. So that's maybe you're walking away from a relationship because there's a deception. Um, I also feel like I think you were kind of deceiving yourself in a way too. <laughs> because the hero is the hangman and I feel like you kind of have are starting to take off that mask and are trying are heading towards the things that you are wanting to do with this uh, hope and star and also like being more honest about emotions and what fulfills you um here we have the higher power so it's like things are working out um you just have to trust that like the higher power um the divine is like giving you what you need um sometimes we don't see it but it's there like always offering always trying to to give us the things that we need and we have to trust in this because yeah it's it's really beneficial we're headed that way okay let's do the the charms and the divination um dice before <laughs> like that you have the star oh my god so cool so you have a star there is like a, a lot of hope there is like a, maybe even possibly a wish that you've been having is going to be fulfilled so that is really cool i love that okay um so six is a, a number that's important you have a blank one so it's up to you october is important yeah 
Oh, the summer. So you should be enjoying this weather. Summer is important as well. And by weather, I mean like <laughs> the season. <laughs> R, we have R, S, May, Aries. Nature, yeah, nature is always important to be here. Capricorn, oh, here we have. I feel like entertainment. I feel like either entertain yourself or maybe some the new path that you've been looking for is, has something to do with the entertainment industry. Again, the broken heart. So it could be that there is, maybe there is a deception, something with your relationship. Um, and then the F, hmm. I want to say first. I'm not even sure why F I. RST first. Okay, that makes any sense to you? <laughs> I don't know. So, let's see the charm. Okay, I love you infinitely. Oof, right? Uh, it could be the love here, but I feel you want to say that this is the divine really talking to you. I love you infinitely. Weakness is a choice, and the weakness. I always like like these guys because weakness is like, what is it that we have? I feel like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to say the weakness is wearing a mask and not really showing who you are. It might just not be that somebody else is actually wearing the mask, but you are. Um, butterflies. Butterflies are coming because I feel like there is a lot of transformation actually happening this summer. Um, but it's also because I think that there is also angels around us a lot now. Um, turtle, keep working at everything st steadily. Oh, I love it. I was wondering if you were going to have another star, and you actually did. Okay, because when usually this star, there's also another star. So there's, like, really important. This is, like, a, a wish is coming true here. The fact that it's pink, it, it really, to me, it has to be with love. Um, okay, so if, if, if that is the truth, if it, it is that you're looking for love, um, I really want to say that don't wear a mask be who you are um like trust that the person whoever it is or if you haven't met them or if they're gonna meet they're gonna love you just as you are um because the universe loves you just as you are you don't have to you don't have to change for the universe it just loves you just as you are so 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 try to remember that that seems like a very important message here um again transformation death transformation and um, this is like, I think it's really good because <laughs> it's the end of this. It's the end of feeling like, uh, like this, that you've so much, uh, strife. It's the end of that strife. Um, again, here we have some singing, some notes. I, I really, lately I've been having a lot of notes and I think that has to do with like, I want to say songs, songs that are like, you know, a song that really calls out to you, listen to the lyrics. It's always been like lately. It's like there's something there. There's a message there too. Um, so there's that song that just kind of pulls you, just pulls your heartstrings. There's uh, important information in those lyrics. All right, let's see what self-care you need for this week. Connect with your ancestors. Oh, okay. So maybe um either your actual ancestors or maybe your family even just connect with your family um so if you connect with your ancestors it could be like asking i feel like asking your relative stories from of the past um that would be kind of cool i like that um and deep breathing oh i like that one too so yeah <clears throat> especially i feel like on Monday, <laughs> you might need deep breathing. Because deep breathing, usually what happens when we're, like, in a stressful situation or when any kind of, like, yeah, it's usually when a stressful situation, um, our breathing becomes really shallow. Um, it's just the body's way of trying to, um, well, it's just, I guess, the physical reaction. So deep breathing actually immediately calms us. It, it makes... Um, because it's giving us more oxygen. So deep breathing is important this week. Um, let's look at what overall guidance. Twilight. Surrender to the last hour when the surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers. I mean, like I think that it is like here we're. It, I think this is the twilight for you. The twilight is this um, having this ten of swords and that it's going away and now having the star. So this is like the star is guiding you now. Like something that you've been wanting is guiding you. Opportunity. There's no there's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. 
<laughs> so there is, I think there is a lot of opportunities, a lot of luck is coming your way. Um, it could be with love if that's what you wanted. It also could just be that your, shine, your star is shining. Oh, I forgot to say the fairy. So the fairy here, it represents, um, it, it's magic. I feel like the twilight goes with it really well. But it, it's also like having a sense of wonder is what I want to say. Yeah. So far, your week is, is really good. There's a lot of hope coming through. There's like a lot of, again, there's new beginnings at hand. You might feel a little bit down during the, you know, like on Monday or on Wednesday. Like, But again, do try to like give yourself that space. Deep breathing important those times and you're doing just fine. Everything's going to be really pretty awesome this week. Um, maybe also like there would be, there was past hurt and I don't know if it's like here right now. Um, but I think it's okay to like start letting it go. Um, yeah, don't wear a mask. Don't try to like deceive yourself or others. Um, yeah, very important. Okay. I think that is all I have for you group two. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing. I am so grateful that you watched this video. I hope it helped. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of light, lots of fun, lots of joy. Um, and just thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. Let's find out what's happening with you this week. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. These are oracle cards, but first we want to actually see what the energy of the week is. So the energy of the week is the contract. All right, so I like to read this because it actually allows us to see the... Um, here we go. This card shows a contract in the background, ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some kind. This is a union... This union may be business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It is usually something that requires a document that is binding, at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if the legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. <clears throat> I love that. So your affirmation is, I am attracting wonderful, beneficial connections that support and honor me and bring me great happiness and abundance. Oh, that's a good thing. All right. So let's find out what is actually like the energy of the week. <coughs> well, in, in more specific ways. <laughs> All right. So here we go. On Monday, we are going Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay. So here we go. Yes, but I, I got this on Monday. There's a Nine of, of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups for Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we have the Nine of Swords. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, it's always, sometimes it happens that they, the cards decide to fly out of my hand. Okay, this is also important. We also have on Thursday, we have the, oh, Page of Wands. It was reversed. Okay, we'll just listen to that. Um, okay. <coughs> we also have... Sorry, this is like not exactly how I wanted you to get the reading, but I think this is important. So here we go. Some nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Wednesday we have the Nine of... Oh, there's a lot of Nine energy here. There's two Nines. Uh, Wednesday we have the Nine of Swords. Thursday, Page of Wands Reverse. Friday we have the Three of Swords. <coughs> Friday, right? That would be... No, this is Saturday would be the two of wands um all right now let me actually shuffle shuffle the last bit and all right so we just need one more card to tell us what sunday's like okay actually two came out okay um so we have temperance and strength it's interesting so is our so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay i was just making sure that i actually counted right Okay, <clears throat> so you have a whole bunch of diverse <laughs> elements here, which is actually makes this reading very interesting. Okay, so we have here Nine of Cups on Monday. Nine of Cups, you're going to be very fulfilled. Like maybe like you're just going to be fulfilled. You feel like your wishes are coming true. Very strong sense of like excitement um, and just feeling very satisfied is what I, I want to say. Just very satisfied. On Tuesday, you'll have the Knight of Cups. Again, it's like um, could be a message of love or appreciation. Um, it also could be that somebody's entering in your life that will actually provide a lot of like um, 
emotional satisfaction, a lot of emotional like love and emotional support might be. It could be somebody who sweeps you off your feet in, in terms of love because here he is a complete. The Knight of Cups is like uh, the prince in shining armor, the, you know, the guy who just kind of just makes you go swoon. <laughs> On Wednesday we have energy of like the nine of swords so it's energy of like feeling depressed and feeling like <clears throat> again this is kind of interesting because here we have the fulfillment but here we have like nothing that really is working out for you feel like but that's a, a really more thoughts than an actual like reality it's like you're feeling kind of like it's stuck in your head in a sense you're like oh my god there's a lot of worries a lot of like what ifs um are happening on wednesday <laughs> What are they, what is it that they were worried about? Oh, okay, the devil card. So it's like an attachment. So maybe it's some sort of like codependency of some kind. Um, could be something that you're just like, oh. Um, <coughs> feels like, well, maybe you're worried that something is not going to work out. That That it's just like, you feel like it's going to be forever. And you're stuck in a way in like in a situation you don't want to be um yeah like you have lost control of something it's really what i'm hearing <clears throat> so that's on wednesday we have the page of wands which is interesting because he's in reverse so <clears throat> page of wands is like is a is this young energy is also like very enthusiastic very excited very creative it's like oh my god it's like he has an idea and he's just gonna flow with it and he's, he's that's that kind of energy so i feel like you're you are here we are feeling a bit stuck a little stagnant again <clears throat> with with the friday the sorry about my throat with the friday the three of swords again it feels like there's a little bit of heartache a little bit of pain here um so there is like it's an interesting thing because here we have a lot of fulfillment in the first half of the week and then something here like it's gonna not it's gonna kind of throw you off balance um it doesn't stay off balance because again on saturday we kind of you start seeing you start seeing that there is like other options you start seeing that maybe you don't have to be stuck where you are you don't have to be stuck in this situation and you're starting to move forward you're starting to see the future is starting to choose a different path very important on sunday we have temperance that um is that again the balance i think there is a little bit of unbalance here energy but you're trying to gain that balance again on on sunday um and, and you also have like the strength on sunday so i think you're i really want to say like you're fighting some sort of like demons quote unquote like your inner demons um that's really interesting let's see what Three of, I mean, the three of swords is just like there is just that feeling of like heartache mm, nine of <laughs> it's like interesting because i don't actually have a lot of reverse but this this reading has been reversed a lot okay um so we have the nine of uh, wands in reverse so again here it is like sort of like here the nine of wands usually is like this determination this like i'm going to you know like this what i call grit um so reverse i mean that means that you kind of have given up on something um feels like yeah you've given up i feel like you've given up on on <clears throat> something that really inspired you all sort of was the beginning it's the beginning of something that was creative like that was really exciting for you um you kind of given it up here but it's interesting because you actually maybe you get a, a re reintroduction here it's a very interesting reading let's actually see what the oh we'll see what the oh yeah let's do first what the oracle cards say and then i'll actually go into the other stuff so here we have engagement which again that has a lot to do with this because we had the contract here so there's an energy of contract oh and it seems like engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment um so we do have the that which which could that does represent here it's like really here is strong you have the nine of cups we have the the knight of cups so nine of cups knight of cups that makes sense like with the engagement but here's the the 
but it throws me off. I wonder if there's like, you're holding on to something in the past. I really want to say that. That is kind of like making you worry. And also like, hmm, it's interesting. Okay, let's see why. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why is this happening? I don't know. <laughs> the why. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Because this is, like, this is a very interesting, um, configuration of for a week. <laughs> it's, like, very, like, I always expect there's to be kind of, like, loads and stuff. And then we have the contract, which is important. Um, I wonder, oh, okay, this kind of makes sense. If there is an engagement, maybe you are worried that it will take away your independence, um, that you'll be stuck. Um... Yeah, it feels like that. That might be what it is. I mean, maybe you're a little bit afraid of this whole marriage or some sort of con. Like, you're afraid of a contract, even though there there might be something that you've actually been wanting, something that you've been looking forward to. Um, but you're a bit scared of it because you feel like you're going to be stuck in it, in a sense, like, chained to it. Um, there's a fear of, like, might be even, like, whether it's, like, love or a new job or something that is being offered. You're like, oh, my God, um, I'm going to be stuck there. I can't move. Um, and I think it's very important for you to feel the motion of, like, you know, to move. Um, and maybe that is why you have, like, this this page of wands in reverse. Um, because you're, like, if you, you feel stuck there, you can't, like, be able to do all these, like, creative ideas. You're going to have to give up on it. And there's, like, something that's going to make you very sad about it. Huh. So you have to, like, here we have... On Friday, you're going to have to find a choice. You're going to try to see the balance. Um, I mean, on Saturday, you're going to find... You have to make a choice between what that is being offered. Engagement. It could be like... It's an engagement. It's something like... a Sort of like a union of some kind. It could be like a business partnership. Some Something like that's a union that will be a binding contract um, of some kind. And then you're not sure if you want to take that because you're like, Oh, but you you feel like you might be stuck with it and won't be able to um do anything and that's why the worries oh. hmm. i also feel like then there's like a, a on sunday you are trying to find that balance and you are trying to find your inner strength i think you're being guided by it okay and here this is actually really good on sunday especially when you're trying to figure out and then on saturday too maybe the why like what is like the why is very important in terms of like what is the, the things that why do you want the things that you want what is your purpose like why are you doing why why do anything that you would do is like basically when you know the why um you will always know the choice um that's right for you yeah that's very important to know like your your why okay so now we're gonna actually do the divination dice Sorry if it, it kind of is like, sometimes like cards can be like, oh, this makes no sense. Oh, that's an interesting one. Because we had, you actually had the hearts and then you had the heartbreak. Um, I feel like you're like not sure whether you should stay with somebody and or, or break up. So it's like the in-between. Um, so I just, yeah, we'll just leave it in the in-between because I think that is important. Spirituality. Um. Again, I think it's, it's the spirituality that you're looking for. I think it's going to give you clarity. Um, and by spirituality, I mean, like, you know, like you, like yoga or like, it, basically it's like taking care of yourself is really what I want to say there. The fall is important. Maybe you're planning for the fall like I am. <laughs> April, um, we have D, H, O, W, um, October, Again, has to do with the fall. So October might be important in, in your coming, in the coming times. Capricorn, Cancer. Cancer, there's that again, like kind of that thing. The first letter of your name. So here we have that. You have animals, so spend time with animals. That might actually be really helpful to you too. And four. Four is coming. Four has been coming out a lot too. And has so has five. So four is like this logical, um, energy um okay <clears throat> so let's do our self-care so the self-care for this week is a health checkup Ooh, those are always good so doing a little health checkup and to sing oh i almost forgot the charm what was i thinking 
so yeah so health checkup is good for you um and then do some singing also good maybe in the shower um you never know okay oh, we have the tree that has no leaves so we're still like you're still not in the in the the harvesting time you're still in the beginning stages and it is true or maybe like a winter it says to me me versus me so yeah i think you're kind of getting in your own way with especially your worries um it's a lot of worries that you have you've been carrying them elephant oh two elephants oh that's so cute so maybe there's like a, a relationship thing here um and but it also like really means that like take it slow study one one step at a time sing with the little singing thing here there's some sort of end coming um so there's an end coming for you <laughs> me versus me and you versus you okay <clears throat> this is like the first time i ever have this so let me just say um yeah i think you're really kind of you're you're getting in your own way in this regard it could be your thoughts like i really want to say like your thoughts are, are magnifying um, any kind of like feelings that you're having in terms of insecurities, of worries, it's like being magnified. Um, I think maybe definitely have a little singing, sing your little heart out, like to, to, to get that, um, taken care of. Like, you know, like basically when you're singing, you're just kind of like releasing a whole bunch of emotion. That might be really good for you. Um, health checkup. I, I do want to say health checkup is important too. Um. Especially if you're like feeling a bit sad lately, a lot like a little bit overwhelmed with the emotions. Um, yeah, it seems like that would be good. So there is again, again, the wheel here. We're shifting, where's an end? There's shifting here. Um, so we have breathe, which is very important. So this is like guidance for the week ahead. Breathe, um, slow down and contemplate the tea, violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. So yeah, that makes to total sense. I think there that when you're feeling like, um, especially that Nine of Swords or even just like this reverse Page of Wands, time to breathe, take it easy, like really enjoy, sing, like have fun is what I'm saying and rest. Yeah, I think you may be overwhelmed, feeling overwhelmed um, and live, live abundantly, live happily. You have the little pink star. So there is a wish coming true for your love. I might be disengagement. <laughs> if you are engaged, engaged uh, if you do get engaged this week, congratulations. Um, everything is going to turn out prop like it's going to work out for you. So you needn't worry. Um, but it's okay. It's okay if you do worry. Sometimes it's just how we are, right? <laughs> um, okay. So I think that is it for you. Um, I hope this reading helped. It was an interesting reading for me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, wow, there's a lot of um, emotions, a lot of like different things. So so this week I think is going to be an interesting week is what I would definitely say. Um, there'll be ups and downs, and but I think by the end you're going to find your balance. You're going to find um, your inner strength, and, and that's really beautiful. Because some, sometimes things happen that we, that maybe like are, are not the best, but but they help us grow to where we need to be so that we can go to get, you know, have even more. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> I do tend to kind of get excited. So I, I go on a little rant. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope the reading helped. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. I am sending you lots of love, lots of light, lots of joy, lots of fun, and lots of clarity. I feel like you need a lot of clarity right now. Um, and... Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.